So what's going on guys and welcome back to episode number 47 of our Portsmouth career mode and um, it should be number 48 but the file got corrupt. Um, so in the previous episode we actually beat Chelsea by three goals to one. Um, then we lost 1-0 against Watford and then we also drew against Stoke. So now we've got a game against Everton, against Everton, we've got a game against Arsenal, um, Liverpool and then Everton and um, the season is coming to an end. There's not many games left in the season so we're just going to try and get through these as quickly as possible. But we're going to take it on Arsenal here and Arsenal are currently sitting, where are Arsenal in the league? They're fourth so they're still trying to go for a Champions League space so it's going to be a very difficult game and let's see how we can get on. Go on Rian. Rian Brewster with a chance and Rian Brewster just seven minutes into the game has broken the deadlock for us. Our number 24 has been on a very, very poor run of form um, pretty much all season I would say. He hasn't really been performing up to his standard but he's hit the back of the net now and it is Oliver Skip with the assist. Plays the ball through to him, gets a little bit lucky with the turn. Leno comes out to try and close down the angle but Rian picks up his 12th goal of the campaign. But when you're looking at the likes of like... Um, Inyaki Williams, who's currently leading the Golden Boot, he is currently on like 20-something goals. So it is a difficult, difficult um, league to play in, I must admit. Oh, he scored! It's Will Cook! I don't know how he got a, a foot on that. It's not Will Cook, it's Brandon Lee. I think that's his first goal for the club from the corner. It comes in, it ricochets all around, it falls to Lee and um, wow. That is a good finish. Get in there, 2-0. Two two Go on, Ronan Curtis. Ronan Curtis is in. Plays the ball through to Richardson. He's looking for his first goal. And he gets it. He's just come on the pitch. And this guy is going to be an absolute gem. He's already 74 rated. He's got potential to be special. And um, he's just built like a well, fucking shithouse. Brick shit house. That's what he is. He's so good. He's got five star skills as well. Uh, Ronan Curtis sees the run of him. He takes a first time touch. Could have laid it out wide, but no. He rifles it into the back of the net. And Reese Richardson with his first goal for the club, and that secured all three points against Arsenal. So we've got a game against the two Merseyside clubs now. We've taken on Liverpool at Anfield and they're currently at the top of the table. And, um, well, they're second actually. But then, after that, we've got Everton and they're currently in 18th place. So they could face getting relegated here. I mean, if we can beat Liverpool and beat Everton, that would be a humongous episode for us. We might have a chance to break here with Rian Brewster. Brewster with the ball through to Helder Costa. Helder Costa back through to Brewster. Brewster can see... Oh, wow. He's got completely taken out by Joel Matip there. And, um, yeah, he knew what he was doing there, didn't he? Jurgen Klopp had stern words before the game and said, if Brewster gets the better of you, take him out. And that's what he's done. Brewster through to Soler. Soler can see Brewster again. And now Brewster puts it in the back of the net. We have taken the lead at Anfield in front of the cop. That is a big, big goal, especially for the former Liverpool man himself. He's celebrating now because he's been away from the club for three years. But I'm pretty sure Liverpool should be sniffing around now and thinking, hmm, let's try and bring back our former player. I mean, he's 82 rated, only 20 years of age, got potential to be special. He's got to be hitting the mid-80s, high-80s next season, isn't he? Oh, Mane's taking on our man. He plays the ball back. And Liverpool will punish you. They will punish you. If you don't score a couple of goals, they will punish you. And that's what they've done. I think it's Mitrovic with the goal. Mane completely done Brandon Lee here. Brandon Lee thought he was cutting back inside, but no. And it's not. It's Marko Grujic. Puts it in the back of the net. It's 1-1. Oh, Mo Salah could be in here. Saliba's coming across. Pope with the save. And then Pope just pushed it straight out into their path. He didn't really have to do that. He really did not have to come out and touch the ball. I honestly think we had it under control. We should... Uh, I don't know. I don't know, actually. Either way, Pope's got to do better. Liverpool's surely going to get another one, aren't they? As Mohamed Salah cuts back inside and he does get another one. Uh, it's just so difficult to do anything in this game. 
But, I mean, Liverpool have been good, don't get me wrong, but it's just that their pace is way too much for us. Oh, and they've got a penalty now. Oh. It's Brandon Lee with the challenge. And I didn't actually press any buttons, to be honest with you. I think I just was a bit too rash. I tried to stop and couldn't stop. And, uh, yeah, we might as well bring on Mason Greenwood up top now. It's going to be... Who's it going to be to take it? It's going to be Fabinho against Nick Pope. And Fabinho goes to the right. And, yeah, 4-1. So a chance here for Ronan Curtis. Oh, Ronan, he's done fantastic here. Ronan Curtis, but he's taking it too close to the goalkeeper. His last touch, which isn't controlled by me, just to make that very clear. His last touch that's controlled bomb the fucking AI. They decide, you know what, you're not actually going to get a consolation. Got the ball with Helder Costa through to Mason Greenwood, but the ball from Helder is nowhere near strong enough. Wagner man through to Mason Greenwood, though. Mason Greenwood! See what I mean about Mason Greenwood. What is that shot? Absolutely atrocious. Either way, it wouldn't have mattered. But still, how is that shot from a 78-rated striker any decent? The cop end is celebrating as they're moving ever closer to winning the league. And uh, they beat us by four goals to one after us taking the lead as well. So now it's the third and final game of the episode as we're taking on Everton, the other Merseyside club. And it's away from home as well. So we camped out. We were only, um, we actually trained at Anfield. No, I'm only joking. Um, but anyway, let's see if we can get the better of this Merseyside club. At least we want to take something away from Merseyside. I mean, we could take away three points. Three points out of six. That'll do me. Oh, Jack Marriott. Lovely piece of play from him here. Plays the ball through to Richardson and he actually went for the nutmeg. He went for the nutmeg, the little cheeky bugger, but he comes back to him and uh, can he get the ball past his man? He roulettes it, roulettes it, uh, sombreros it, whatever that's called. A roulette, uh, no, what's it called? Whatever it is anyway, he tried it and it nearly come off. What a ball, that is through to Jan Benner. Jan Benner does have a bit of pace in his locker and he's still going here, Jan Benner. Goes for goal, it comes across to Mason Greenwood and... But there's just nothing to say, is there? There's nothing to say about that guy. I mean, he's on a two-year loan. His loan's finishing this season. He's probably here for another two or three games. I don't think we're going to be re-signing him, guys. Oliver Skip, I think we probably will do. But then I'm also thinking of chucking in Oliver Skip and getting Harry Winks. Because Harry Winks is a fantastic player, but he's 85 rated, so that's going to be a difficult one for us to get. As we play ball back to Ampadu, through to Billy Gilmore. And Billy Gilmore as well, another player that I'm starting to think very deeply about. As the ball comes through to Richardson. Oh, he's done him there. Richardson on his right boot, and uh, yeah, very poor effort in the end. Oh, Jack Marriott, lovely play from him. And he's put it in the back of the net as well. And um, when you've got Jack Marriott, he's older. He's like 28 years old. He's quicker than Mason Greenwood. And he's less rating than Mason Greenwood. But he's picked up more goals this season. And that just proves it, doesn't it? He has picked up more goals this season just through sheer goal scoring ability. He cuts back inside, waits for the goalkeeper to make a move. And then just slots it into the top corner. And that's his fourth goal. And considering he's got four goals and only played probably about ten games, that is decent. Oh, Erkskin, our left back, got plenty of room here. He plays the ball across to Marriott. And Marriott's hit the crossbar. That could have doubled it. Oh, it must have got a deflection because it's got a corner kick. But Benner whips it, it's one in with pace. Tanganga wins the header and we've hit the post again. Oh, dearie me. That's twice we've hit the post in the space of about a minute. So, first time ball from Richarlison through to Alex Awobi, the former Arsenal man. And we have to really try and hold him off. But thankfully, his cross was a good one. But there was no Everton player in the penalty area. Or there was. There was two of them. But it went in between the two of them. And now Everton. Now the turn on man. Go for goal. Nick Pope. Yes, lad. When we need you, you step up. Oh my god. You have to be kidding me. Nick Pope, what are you doing? 
What are you doing? I see you coming out, so I just thought, well, you're easily going to get there. But no. You don't get there, do you? Why are you coming for crosses if you're not going to get them? For God's sake. All of our hard work being undone from your stupidity. Come on, Ollie Cox. Ollie Cox down this left-hand side. Has room to run into. Plays the ball back to Jan Benner. Jan Benner's shot gets blocked. And his looping header hits the crossbar. Oh my god. That's three times we've hit the crossbar. Or we've hit the crossbar twice. And hit the, the post once. That would have been a beautiful goal. And I actually intended to chip him as well. And it's hit the top of the crossbar. How unlucky can you get? Uh, confirmation for you. Watford did score. And they are... So Jack Marriott through to Greenwood. Greenwood... Greenwood, Greenwood, Greenwood! How? How are you so shit? So one last chance. Jack Marriott tries turning his man and can't do it. And now Everton break. And knowing the bloody AI, they'll probably score. They got the ball with Kone down the right-hand side. And Mason Greenwood. I mean, how can you not put that one away? I really don't get it. I really don't. Fucking atrocious as Nick Pope comes out, boots that one forward, but it won't matter because the referee's going to blow the full-time whistle and that is going to be it for the game. Everton won, Portsmouth won. We definitely sh should have won that game. We should have. However, guys, that is in fact going to be it for this episode of Career Mode. Obviously, if you have enjoyed it, then please make sure to hit the like button down below as it really does help me out. And um, I will see you very, very soon for the next episode of the Portsmouth Career Mode. And again, sorry that the file got corrupt, but when I went to edit it, the file just, yeah, it was just blank. There was nothing there. So um, the next episode, obviously, we're going to be taking on Southampton in a massive game. And uh, we've just got four games remaining. Four games remaining, and then that is it for the season. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you very soon. Cheerio.